The Quarantine Comprehensive Secondary School held their 18th annual graduation and prize-giving ceremony yesterday. More details in this report. The Quarantine Comprehensive High School yesterday held their 18th annual graduation and prize-giving ceremony in the presence of a number of dignitaries, including Honorable Prime Minister of Guyana Moses Nagamoto, Madam Sita Nagamoto, and Honorable Minister of Public Telecommunications Kathy Hughes. The audience of proud parents, teachers, and especially the graduates were given a few words of encouragement from the Prime Minister during his feature address. You would graduate, but you would always remember your alma mater, the school that nurtured you, the parents and teachers who encourage you, who share with you. You are taking with you not one, but two persona, your own personality plus that of your teacher who drain his or her learning and enthusiasm and energy into you. You are a person whose personality has been multiplied and enriched. And so we want you all to become proud ambassadors of quarantine comprehensive high. So I wish you well today. Congratulations, all of you. Well deserved. Move forward. He further disclosed. So when I stand here as a former teacher, I also stand here as the first graduate of 13th Comprehensive School to become a member of Parliament. The first student of 13th Comprehensive to become a minister in the government. The first to become the Prime Minister of Guyana. And the first who is, who is vying for the Oscars Award for acting more time than anybody else as the President. The audience was also treated to a song performed by the school's choir. The school recorded an overall pass rate of 77% grades 1 to 3 and 94% grades 1 to 4, with a 57% pass rate in English grades 1 to 3, 43% pass in mathematics grades 1 to 3, 76% pass in social studies grades 1 to 3, and 92% pass rate in integrated science grades 1 to 3. This year's top 5 CSEC students are Claudius Deepu, Murphy Bagot, Vijay Mohabir, Parmeshwar Persaud, and Kanisha Matheson. Sasha Ramsavan reporting for Channel 8 News.